kickoff day and we are here at the small rig open house again i hope you enjoyed seeing the last two they were all from the women's event and now we're going to go check out some men and see how colorful and creative and simple and functional they can be with their rigs so let's get started hope you'll join me oh we're getting started here linda serene and simple life best question ever best question ever wow check it out too funny greatest thing a man ever said yes dear <laughs> I tend to disagree, but we won't go there. That's not what this video is about. It's got a big flat screen there, computer. All right, so good. We got colorful. We got colorful and musical. Wow, very cool. So what kind of uh, vehicle is this? It's a 2013 Chrysler Town & Country. Nice! And I've already taken a peek in here. I see you've got colorful going on. That's awesome. Uh, my wife was an artist. Okay. And she passed away in 2022. And so when I started building this, all of her art and stuff inspired me to move it all in there. Oh, that's and fantastic. The flooring and all the boxes, those are all things that she she had made up. Wow. So, so what is your favorite? Getting rid of the stone or having the space for the stow and go seats. Okay. Is awesome for a guy my size. Okay. Because I can almost stand up but i can stand up enough to put on my pants oh nice okay <laughs> and, uh, i like it and uh, yeah and a lot of self-explanatory here and you do work yeah on the road yep i've got a computer built in underneath there so a 24 oh. inch monitor all right and like i said i got five gallons of fresh water and 100 amp hour lipo 4 down underneath there all right well, I think you got this going on great, and I am sorry for your loss. Thank you. Thank but you. I am I'm glad to see yes, you out on the road. And yes, it's been inspiring and very healing. So. Yeah, very nice. All right. Well, we'll talk to you later, Ron. Okay. I believe I noticed up top here. That's an awning? Yeah, this is an awning. It goes out 10 feet. And I've got two of the sidewalls for it, so if it's not windy, I can set it up and have like a nice little living room. Right, and then 200 watt solar, and you said, on the other side. Solar. Yeah, very cool. Awesome. Well, good job with your build. Thank so you. What kind of vehicle do you have? Uh, it's a 2017 Ram Promaster. Okay. And you said you have a YouTube channel? Yes. What is it? Counterculture Crusader Dude. Say it slow. Counterculture Crusader Dude. Cal Counterculture Crusader Dude. Yes. Very cool. And we can look behind the blanket, huh? Yes. And you were saying also that this is a no build build? No build. Except for the fan on, on the, through the, through the uh, ceiling. Okay. And you were following? Keep our real living. Yes. yes. In order to go with a no build build. Correct. Fantastic. Yes. I tried to make it as cozy as I possibly can in there. And you did. Yes. Yes. Wow. Very nice. Very nice. Got the bed here. Okay, I'm I'm digging it. And are you full time? Uh yes. Awesome. Travel the country? Yes. A favorite place that you've seen? Uh, I guess courtside for now. For now? Yeah. Yes. Wherever you are, that's the place that's the best. Yes. All right. Thank you. No you know how I like firsts. And no, it's not the bike hanging off the back. If you don't... I love what you've got going on here. So you're with issuesoutline.org. That's, that's your website. My website. Fantastic. And what kind of vehicle is this? It's a Nissan NV2500. Wonderful. And I'm going to take a peek inside. Yeah, absolutely. Can you show us about the bed? Sure. Yeah, I was hearing you a little earlier. Uh, Love that. The state is not God. All yeah. right. The, uh, Let's see what we got going. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. The idea was uh, not to have a bed during the day. I don't need a bed during the day. Right. So uh, I scratched my head for a few months. <laughs> That's the hardest part, um, designing something new. 
I'm gonna pop my head in. Yeah, I sure. love these Nissans. This, uh, very cool. This back part does the same thing. So it's like six feet long, four feet wide. Two people can sleep on this, two air mattresses. Um, when I'm by myself, I just, you know, I can spread out. And uh, it takes about five minutes to make the bed. Very, very awesome. And you've got everything and from microwave to... During, and this is my mini couch here. I can chill out, you know, relax, watch a movie. Yes, yes. And you're uh, a guitar player? Yeah, I play music. Uh-huh. Thank goodness for bungees here. Yeah, bungees. Lots of nice. nice uh, and this says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. Man, you are a man after my own heart here. Oh, praise God. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. This is fantastic and so nice to get a little, the Grand Canyon National Park upside down. One of your favorite places that you've been? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> do you have another that sticks like pops in your head right off the top oh well you know i haven't uh i used to live in, on the west coast uh i was in the marine corps back in the uh, early 80s i you know i saw most of california yosemite big mm -hmm. big bit um I forget the name but the other other parks in california mm -hmm. um, california is gorgeous yeah so yeah. i've got many places i have yet to see i've been this is like uh been a dream for me so I'm kind of living my dream now. Oh, fantastic. I got my music, and I'm hoping to find other musicians to play with. And, uh, but yeah, I've been composing and writing songs for a long time. I write a lot of political songs. Uh, you see on the back of my van. Yeah, I, I read that. MarkYoungGuitar.com. Okay, MarkYoungGuitar.com. Uh, thank you for what you're doing, and are you full-time on the road? I'm working towards it. Working towards yeah, it, and thank you for your service, too. You're welcome. Yes, God bless you. Yeah. Wow. A lot going on in here. Dometic. Another place where they took a chair out. Look, it's an, a water area. Oh my gosh, is that cool. Wow. So much going on in here. This is awesome. A very organized situation here. Wow. It's pretty cool. You got a lot going on in there. Thanks. What is this? Uh, 2022 Ford Transit Connect. All right. And I picked it up when it had four miles on it and got it home and under 100 miles started cutting it apart and putting porthole windows and exhaust fan and I'm going to get you over oh. here in a better light. Wow. Just I just had a bathroom and a double kitchen sink over there. And that was the purpose of porthole window, not just for the... Oh, over there in the... the yeah. Light. That's my sink drain. Right there. Yeah. Yes. And then right here. Yep. And this is a, oh, a shower, sit down bath. Yes. And I just use... Very innovative. Just use a... You know, a pump sprayer. I'm impressed. Are you full time? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Traveling the country, enjoying life? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Um, I like it. And this bathtub, this folds down flat. Okay. And this seat, I built on top of the passenger seat. The passenger seat's still in here. Oh. And right now I have it set up as a lounge chair. Yes! So you can stargaze out through the windshield. I think that's fantastic. Then the seat, this arm, mm -hmm. folds up. And this whole thing folds over top of the... When this is in down position, it yes. folds out. Yes, yes. And creates a bed. Oh, wow. Aren't you smart? But... That, and creative. I, I prefer sleeping on the floor. Okay, all right. And like I said, the uh, uh, passenger seat still intact. Yes, I can see. Know. That's amazing. Well, thank you for sharing this little power tour and some power tips.
Appreciate it. And before I go, I noticed something here on your door. What is that? <laughs> doorbell. Yeah. And my security lights. And why do you have that doorbell? Oh, for my friend back home, the bag lady, Kim, who's always knocking on my w window looking for treats or five bucks or cigarette butt or... So now she can just ring your bell yeah. instead of knocking. Yep. Aren't you precious yep. helping her out like that? Go to the river and get my bell rung. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Quick here in the back. I wouldn't do it again. From the back forward but now. Doing, doing Woo. Very innovative. If I haven't already said that. I like back 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 and I like another thing too. What do we got going on here in the glamping world for all us women? Well, it started life as a 1992 <laughs> Falcon 190 that was built by Intervec. And I got it about three, three and a half years ago and started building on it. It was two wheel drive when we started. And so I did the four wheel drive conversion, a lot of extras, redid the interior. Uh, it's got satellite TV in there. Um, I've used Starlink. Uh, I really don't like roughing it at this age. <laughs> and a full bathroom in there? It has a dry bath and I tell you, it's uh, worth every piece of real estate that it takes up. Wow, and what kind of vehicle? It started life as a 1992 Ford Econoline okay. uh, Falcon 190. Yeah, and you were saying you uh, really are digging this over what, the a Sprinter or something you guys were talking about? You know, nothing against the new rigs, but in large part, I can't stand up in them completely and I wasn't gonna slouch. And also I did this complete build for about less than a third of what a full built out sprinter would cost okay and the other thing about a domestic older vehicle you can be out in the middle of nothing if there's a napa store chances are they've got a part for my 351 windsor i don't have to be towed into a major city i see all right well i like the way you yeah we won't uh, put anybody down but you'll just tell me what you like well, so i'm everybody's gonna everybody's got a preference exactly that's, that's part of the fun of this lifestyle is everybody's got a different view of what they want exactly oh, guys. Oh, okay. yeah, um, glamping at its best not, here wow good information okay, so he has there so is the bathroom still in the back or yeah, okay yeah i'm and digging it something yeah. for everybody yeah. here but i want to get a higher roof raise because it's about i'm five ten and it's about five seven in there yep so no I, I've, I've, like I've i've been in those and yeah <laughs> Awesome. You yeah. know, you know, are, are you part of that? Adventure is page? necessary. Because all of the Falcons yeah. and Horizons, we've got our own Facebook page. Hey, what's it called? Uh, Inter a lot Inter going on back here, too. Yeah, really. <laughs> wow. You got the spare, you got the stove, you got the bike. Love it. Wow. This is pretty fancy. Pretty fancy here. Yeah, 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 yeah. They make one of the 12 foot, they make, this is called an expedition. They make new ones now that are even nicer, the same size box. Looks like this is they Eugene's. They make a Ranger 12, and it's a 12 foot box, and a Ranger 10, and it's a 10 foot box. And they also make a Scout and a Scout Blade. Jean's World, Poppy's campsite, and Jean, Eugene. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Good. What are we doing here? Oh, well, I've got my A-liner. I've been traveling in since uh, the fall of 2018. Uh, full time. I do go home to Pennsylvania and spend the summer to catch up on all my medical stuff. And I usually get on the road in October. And uh, I travel the entire country. Uh, I've camped in all the lower 48. Uh, National parks are my goal. I've uh, been to 274 national park units altogether, I think is the count right now. 44 national parks, the ones that say national park in the title. And uh, uh, this is with your A-liner. Yep, yep. And yep. you and pull it with what? Uh, it's a, F1, a 2013 F-150. Uh, it's got 196,000 miles on it, all of them I put on. It started in 2018 with 52,000 miles. <laughs> wow. Well, good job. Good job. And oh, you yeah. you stay you stay BLM land campgrounds. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. All of it. Yeah. Uh, when, when I'm traveling in the east and stuff, I do uh, uh, state parks and things for uh, uh, ease. It's too hard to pull. I mean, I've camped at a Walmart parking lot and I've camped at a truck stop and a Cracker Barrel just to say I've done it, but it's not my go-to. I'd rather pay the 
I'm, I'm not a true nomad. I'm a traveler. That's yes. The way I think of myself. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Because I love coming here and meeting up with all my friends for December, January, and February. And in March, we all start going our own way. I know. No kidding. <laughs> no kidding. Well, that's fantastic. Thank you for giving us a little overview here. Yep, Appreciate yep. you. Eugene, no you have a channel, and it's Eugene, as in yep. your name, and then... Eugene Brindle, B-R-E-I-N-D-E-L. That's my Facebook and my YouTube. B-R-I... E-I. B-R-E-I-N-D-E-L. Awesome. And say that Say that with your accent. Brindle. This is Deutsch. Fantastic. <laughs> this is pretty cool. What are you doing here? What kind of video, or what kind of vehicle? Okay, this is a 2011... Chevy Express 2500. Mm -hmm. um, I've had it since 2016. That's when I did my first build. I'm on my fourth version with a lot of many versions in between now. I think I've got it uh, pretty much arranged the way I want it now. Um, it's very nice, very thank organized. Yeah, thank you. I've, I've come to love slide outs. Uh, let's see. That yep. is called a cool freeze. Yeah, it's a dramatic cool freeze. Oh, good job. Uh, 18 liter. Mm -hmm. And uh, that pops out. I can I can pull these other drawers out for access. I love it. Like that. And so you built all that. Built it all. Yep. yep. This is this part is really the only thing that's left from the original build. I had cabinets going down there, and I had a cot and totes and things like that. Look at you, just styling here. Mm -hmm. We'll turn around here. You've got your cooking situation. Mm -hmm. I've got a, the uh, induction cooktop pulls out. This pulls out. Everything's Here's my a cooktop. Yeah, everything's a pull out. Everything, everything. You are styling here. I like full extension slides. And I see that, and I also see how well organized and neat you are. Thank you. Thank I you. am impressed. It has taken a while, but here I am. Are you full time? I know, four to six months a year, All something right. like that. And home base is? Uh, Buford, Georgia. Okay, very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is my destination every every winter, though. All right. While they're having snow and ice out there, I'm having sunshine out here. Yes. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Good job. Well. We're glad you're here and thank you for sharing. Thank one more thing. So what what do okay. we got going here? We have got a two kilowatt uh, diesel heater, one of the little <laughs> Chinese jobs. Uh, I've also got another two kilowatt under here. I started with five kilowatts. That's too much heat for a little van. So I added this one. A friend wanted my five. So I swapped it out for a two over here. Fuel tank, the whole works right here. Oh, wow. And so you said this that was a, a game changer for you. Oh, it is. It's nice dry heat. I started out like most people with a Mr. Buddy heater and a 20 pound tank and they're just uh, water dripping down the walls every day. Switched over to a uh, Camco Wave 3, which was better, but it wouldn't heat a cold van because it's only 3,000 BTUs. These are 6,800 BTUs a piece. And where do you get these? What? Uh, Amazon, straight from, I got this straight from Vivor, V E V O R dot com. They've got probably 30 different models, so that's the only confusing part. But um, they work great, nice dry heat. Um, I filled it up yesterday to the top of this mark. I started, I fired it up at eight o'clock last night, and ran it till nine this morning, and that's all I used. Oh, that's awesome. They are very frugal on the fuel. Oh, very good. And you can get diesel anywhere, and that's not true for propane. Okay, well, thank you for that. Okay. All right, talk to you later. You've got yourself a, a no-build build, huh? Exactly. What is this? This is a 2004 Toyota Sienna. Very good. At 190,000 miles. All right. Uh, keeps on ticking. Yep, and are you full-timer? Uh, no, I come out here in the wintertime. All right, all right, very good. Well, you're but I still, I drive this all year round. All right, so you're at the right place here. Oh, yeah. Retired, yeah. not retired? I am retired. Retired, okay, all right. Let's see what we got going on in here. I love it. I love the simplicity. Everything you need here, a bed. In his organized kitchen area here. Good job. bike on the back for exercise uh, looks like a one burner there lights 
storage underneath. You're styling. Good job, Jerome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. The RTR. Woo! You gotta stay tuned for part two now. You gotta stay tuned for part two. Men and couples at the RTR here showing off their small to what I say medium sized rigs. Blessings in your day and joy in your journey.